Cool. Next game up is Oklahoma at Houston. And uh, the current line, it's actually not at Houston. It's a neutral site. Um, the current line is nine and a half or 10, depending on where. Uh, and I landed at 11, actually. And for those that have been around or know who I am, um, at least since last year, you'll know how much of a Houston fan I was or I am or Homer uh, fan just because they made us a lot of money last year winning the conference at over 8-1 to one, and then just backing them throughout the, the season, especially in that um, bowl game against Florida State where we um, – we had a big play on the plus seven and then money line as well. And so if I was really, really confident in this uh, game again, you'd think, you know, a team as talented as Houston getting double digits is probably worth looking at. Um, but I think it's actually a fair line. I think you got to give Oklahoma a ton of credit for the season they put together last year and um, coming into the season with a lot of those same pieces coming back, especially a quarterback in uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, you have to respect them. And so I'm just going to pass. I think – uh, if Houston went out right, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they beat a Florida, really, really good Florida State squad who's one of the favorites to win it all this year in the bowl. Uh, so they definitely could. I just um, don't think there's a ton of value, and I think there are a little more, a f- few more pieces uh, that Houston's trying to replace from last year's team that was really good uh, defensively as well as some of the skill positions um, to go alongside with uh, their quarterback, who is the bomb, and his name, I don't know why I'm blanking, Greg Ward Jr. Uh, I mean, I loved him. He he was the best thing for us last year, and he might be a Heisman candidate this year, especially if they end up running the table or something. Um, but it, it's, it's something that I'd like to see how they replace some of those guys that he had around him last year. Maybe they surround him with talent again. I know it's probably pretty pretty systematic squad, offense and system from Todd Herman, Tom Herman. He he uh, came over from Ohio State. If you didn't know before, he was the offensive coordinator there for a while. And um, uh, in Orlando, I forget his first name. He's a defensive coordinator. He came over. I think it's Todd Orlando. That's why I said Todd Herman. But it's Tom Herman and Todd Orlando. He's a defensive coordinator at Utah State. Who's um, until last year, and, and he's been really strong just defensively wherever he's gone. So I don't expect you to drop offs either way, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if you know Oklahoma won this game by 14 either. So like I said, it's if I'm not surprised either way, uh, why bet it? You know, there's not really an angle or an edge. So um, I'm going to be passing, and we'll just move on to the next game.